I'm Ryan, SethBaseDriveHome.com, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about Ironman Alaska 2022. Um, notice they've added VinFast Ironman US Series to the race, so that's just recent. But we're going to be here, we're going to be talking about the weather. I'm going to talk about swim, the bike, the run, most of those videos. I'm going to talk about weather, and then later I'm going to talk about the athlete guide and kind of what you, I think you should be paying attention to doing the race. Now, I'm not doing the race. I have athletes doing it. I have... Uh, training plans out there for the race i've made training plans for athletes doing the race so i've had to do a little bit of recon on the course the profiles what the course looks like and the weather and things to just get people ready to do this race in addition to all the traveling logistics to get up to some place like Juneau, alaska so we're going to jump right into it and we're going to talk about the weather um, i always like to jump on to the uh, main page here in iron man it's always interesting their take on what the weather should be, especially here in 2022. It seems like it has been not typical as far as how warm it's been for the summer, especially early June. I did Des Moines 2022. You know, usually Des Moines that time of year is in the low, the low 70s, and it was in the high 80s, and the heat index was around 100. Uh, it was very uncomfortable, and especially being in the middle of June, usually you're not going to get that extreme. It was almost like that in uh, 21. Is a 70.3 distance, so maybe this is the new normal. But anyway, <clears throat> so I'm going to talk about Ironman Alaska and the weather. But like I said, I like to look at the what they kind of advertise as far as the average air temperature, 68 degrees Fahrenheit for the air temperature, and average water temperature is 65 degrees. So if that water temperature holds true, and it should. Um, I looked at the weather and the, the upcoming weather and the previous weather. You know, the temperatures aren't even getting into the 70s, so more than likely it's not going to warm up that water any more than it already is. And I would definitely count on a wetsuit swim and I bring a full, full sleeve suit. I mean, I talked to this on, this, on the swim video and a new print cap, um, all kinds of things. Uh, make sure you're warm on that swim because that's going to be important. But I digress because I'm going to talk about the weather. Like I said, they advertise a 68 degree and that is the average air temperature. So that's not the high, that's not the low. That's kind of average for this time of year. Um, at, race site so what i like to do is compare that to uh, previous past forecast so um, if you look at i like timeanddate.com it has a lot of good historical information on there and like i said i'm doing this live so any uh, questions you have or anything you post that in the comments and i'll try to dig up any answers that i can find out here uh, if i don't see any questions i'll just steam along if you're seeing this later put it in the comments and i'll get back to you later so with that timeanddate.com you look at the weather you look at uh, climate or you can look at, uh, like, uh, I think I went to weather, I went to world, uh, local weather, I searched up Juneau, Alaska, so it brings up <clears throat> kind of the average, since they've been tracking information on, on in that area. So you look at August, the average high is 63, average low is 49. So you look at June, July, and August, the hottest months there, they don't even get out of the 70s for the, the average highs. So I think it's pretty safe bet that the average temperature, I mean, Ironman.com average, you know, pegged it at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And, you know, you look at the average uh, temperatures as far as time and date, you know, the, based on weather reports collected during 1985 to 2015. So there's a few years left off. Um, here we are in 2022. But average is at 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, uh, do notice that the uh, rain average is going up a little bit. So we're kind of getting into the rain season if you will uh up there so that could be a problem and i'm kind of foreshadowing a little bit because i looked at the upcoming weather but um you look at the, the you know humidity 80 40 percent so it is a little bit humid up there but you know when it's 63 degrees you're really not going to experience it all that much it's going to be more cooler than anything precipitation about four and a half inches so wind speed six miles per hour average um i'll take that any day uh especially on a full ironman course so also, what I like to do is timeanddate.com. I go back and I search uh, the prior years. So if you can see this, August 7, 2021, uh, you look at the temperatures, 56 in the mornings. When you get up, it's going to be a little bit chilly. So plan on, you know, trying to stay warm before that race starts, especially before you get in that water. Um, you know, I've done races where I've just put on my wetsuit and then put them on my warm clothes over that and just stay warm and then put my clothes in the morning gear bag and then just put off. Um, so you want to do what you can to stay warm, you know, sweatpants, sweatshirts, and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so if it is raining, make sure you pay attention to that and bring some gear to stay dry 
as much as possible, or just put it on your wetsuit and just stand in your wetsuit. Um, that should keep you pretty warm. <clears throat> but the average uh, start temperature, 56 degrees. So once you get into kind of the race time, 5 o'clock, 54, 54, 54, I mean, it's really not moving the needle that far up. And in 2021, looks like the high got to 66 degrees at 5 o'clock. And, you know, five mile per hour winds, six miles, seven mile per hour winds, no wind. Uh, the humidity was up there, but, you know, visibility in the morning is a little bit low. Maybe some morning fog or something like that and some light rain fog. But really, I mean, as far as race days go, that's a pretty nice race day. So let's look at 2020. So a year before that, that a little bit of rain in the morning there, but kind of let up. Looks like, you know, maybe you'd be out on the bike course at that point in time or just finishing up the swim. Uh, so it was in the 50s in the morning again, and the high looks like 56 or so. So on in this day in 2020, uh, humidity is up pretty high. 12 mile, 14 mile per hour winds, 18 mile per hour winds. It gusted for a little bit, so nothing too crazy, but um, you know it can get a little bit windy out there. So just make sure you pay attention to that. And this is this is where the weather is collected at. This doesn't mean this is it for the entire course out there. Who knows what's going on in other places. Um, aside where they're collecting this weather data, but you know, it, it's good. You know, if you don't live there and you don't know how the weather is and you haven't been there for years, this is, a, I think, a good place to start to, to make sure you're prepared when you're packing your stuff. You can already go up there. You don't want to be caught at the last minute, especially if you're in Alaska, where you may be limited on where you can go, maybe limited on the ways to travel if you don't have a car or something like that, or you're working on Ubers or shuttles. And, you know, the sporting goods stores may be hard to come by. So if you get there, you find out it's a lot colder than you thought it was going to be. And it's raining and stuff like that. And you're not prepared. Um, it may be a little miserable. So uh, do your homework. Do your research. Make sure you're prepared for the weather on race day, especially. Um, be, be prepared. You know, I've gone to races and we've had to go get just sweatshirts and stuff from the store. Like Ironman Florida in 2021. I think the average air temperature was like in the fifties or something crazy. It was it was kind of crazy. The few days before we get up in the morning and try to go to the beach, and usually it's in the sixties or seventies, and it was like forties. It was cold. The sand was cold. The water was cold. It was just kind of a different experience. So make sure you're paying attention to the weather, especially when you're packing your stuff and you're ready to go. Uh, so we already did twenty twenty. We did twenty twenty one. So that's what I kind of do first is I kind of look at the past information, especially if this is the first time I'm going to go to an event and I'm not familiar. with Necessarily with the area, uh, you know, like for Ironman Des Moines, I live in Kansas City, so I'm somewhat in the Midwest, so I have kind of a feel for what's going on. Uh, but for a place like Juneau, Alaska, most of us probably don't live there, so uh, this is probably the next best thing to actually living there is trying to get online and kind of find out what the historical information is as far as the weather. So I looked at past weather, and then I did all, you know, for whatever the weather channel is worth, weather.com. If you look on the forecast, and you look at Sunday the 7th, we'll cast with rain showers at times, high 57, uh, east-southeast winds, 5 to 10 mile per hour chance of rain is 60%. Uh, at night, cloudy with occasional rain showers. So, when you're looking at Sunday's forecast, high 57, low 48 in showers, 58% of those showers, 58% chance. And if you look at the forecast, I mean, pretty much... You're looking at rain the entire time and you know in the 50s and 60s for temperature so make sure you dress accordingly um definitely bring warmer clothing you know here we are in kansas and we're in we we just got a respite and we're in the 80s today but we're going to go back to the 90s we're in the hundreds a week before so if you're going out and doing this race it's going to be a complete culture shock or climate shock so bring your warm weather gear bring waterproof gear especially when you're just running around or you're getting ready for the race. You don't want to get wet and soaked to the bone in your clothes and just be ready like on the bike. Um, you might be riding in the rain, so make sure. And it's going to be in the 50s. So when you're riding in the rain and it's in the 50s and, and if there's a breeze, it could be really chilly. So consider uh, maybe some waterproof gloves, um, some pretty, you know, maybe some thin ones at least keep you warm. Um, maybe a rain jacket, rain shell for the bike ride. Um, maybe some long pants for the bike ride. Um, I would just be prepared to be cold on that bike ride and have the gear. And if the forecast changes and it's going to be 68 and sunny, then great. You, you just leave that stuff back in the hotel room. But that's the kind of stuff that probably you're not going to find readily available just in any sort of good store in Juneau, Alaska. If you run into the pro and you get there and you're like, crap, this is a lot colder than I thought it was going to be. 
and it's going to be rainy, so I need to be make sure that I am warm on race day. Make sure you're prepared now, because I'm making this video, and it's more than a week out. So you've got plenty of time. Most people aren't traveling out there quite yet. So make sure that you're prepared for the conditions of the race, because um, the last thing you want to do is get up there. Like I said, find out it's going to be extremely more cold than you thought it was going to be. Uh, like I said, I'm in Florida last year. It was in the 40s, so I, I went to a store and stopped. And just got a long sleeve t-shirt just to throw on my bag, my gear bag. I actually didn't need it for the bike ride. I got warm enough that it wasn't a problem, but um, it was there if I needed it. That was the one thing I went and just got just a cheap long sleeve sweat or t-shirt or something like that to wear on the bike to warm up on. So, you know, it, it doesn't really hurt to maybe pack a, a rain shell or something like that. Maybe a kind of long sleeve jersey or something like that to wear and meet for the bike ride. Uh, because if it is a high of 57 and if it's raining, you're going to be cold on that bike ride. So the last thing you want to do is get hypothermic and then get pulled from a bike ride or have to quit because you can't feel your hands, you can't shift your bike. Um, and the same goes for the run. I mean, if you're going to be out there in the 50s and it gets starts getting dark in the 40s and raining on you, it's going to be cold. You want to make sure that you're nice and warm, waterproof stuff. Just make sure you're prepared and ready. Um, that's the, I think, can be the biggest factor for the weather out there. So, again... I want to kind of draw, uh, draw to a close here. Uh, talked about 10 minutes about the weather here at Army Alaska in 2022. We've gone through historical information. Historically, in the 50s and 60s, it has rained a little bit this time of year. Um, and the forecast is looking like some rain coming up the race day. So that's going to be my biggest key is make sure that for the race that you come prepared with warm gear and maybe some waterproof gear, especially for the bike ride. Because you want to be able to feel your hands when you're shifting your bike. So with that, I didn't see any questions. I'm going to go ahead and close the video now. And with that, good luck in your training. Good luck on race day. And we'll be seeing you at the finish line video.